हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस अमेजिंग चैनल दिस इज अभिनव सो वी हैव रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड आवर वेबसाइट व्हिच इज coding75.com एंड coding75.com हैज अ वेरी ग्रेट फीचर ऑफ रेज्यूमे बिल्डर यस यू कैन एक्चुअली बिल्ड योर रेज्यूमे यूजिंग दिस साइट व्हिच इज coding75 एंड फॉर द रेज्यूमे बिल्डर वी आर गिविंग यू द ऑप्शन टू क्रिएट अ एटीएस फ्रेंडली रेज्यूमे यस the resume that will be get shortlisted because it will be ats friendly it will have a good score why i am saying this very confident that it's it's ats friendly reason being we are using overleaf.com to build the resume so if you will see this is what overleaf.com is so i always recommend everyone to use overleaf.com for building resumes the reason being overleaf uses latex language that is best for resume building right and this specific template of jax resume is very famous because it's a very decent a very good you know a professional templates that even i use if you will see my resume uh, sorry so if you will see here my resume uh, okay it is also based on the template which is this jax resume right so this is a really amazing template that i also use so but the problem comes why i am not I'm not directly uh, asking you guys to go and create a resume in Overleaf because if you will see, if you will uh, try to create a resume, it will give you the whole LaTeX code that you have to change according to your details, and then your final resume will be created. Right? If I will open this as template, you will see this template is loading. It will create my project, and this type of code editor will come here. Right? And it's some sometimes very difficult for the beginners to write code here. and create the resume so to make a resume using overleaf but in a better way we have introduced resume builder in our website so what you can do first of all you have to log in through our particular website which is coding 75 so we have given a google access to login a very single one click login is there after logging in you will get this the home page the landing page of our site what you do is there are multiple options how you can go to the or uh, make a resume option the very first option is click to your profile picture go to your profile and if you will see here there will be option of update resume or you can also click this option of resume builder in the sidebar once you will click the resume builder option it will give the initial because you have not filled any detail initially all the details will be uh, empty now what you will do one by one you will fill all your details right for example okay sorry i will not so it will share my personal number maybe so <laughs> i have to actually hide it uh yeah i have to hide my you know address so this is the thing Now for LinkedIn profile, you all know. So what you can do here, you can add your name for email and everything. I have given some very, very, very random values, right? And this is what you can do here. After doing this, you have to simply click the save option, right? After saving, next is education. For education, also what I can do, SBTU is my college name, my degree name, Bachelor of Technology in Information Technology. For example, let's say very uh, demo that I am doing it from September 2020. So my expected graduation is June 2024. Let's say my CGP is 8.1. My location is let's say Kanpur. Okay, this is how I can add my education. You can also add as much as educations you want. You can add the list. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just adding one education to just show you guys. Okay. And then don't forget to save every part. Right. Education is also saved. Next is experience. For all of this, what I will do now, I will just use my. Uh, okay. Let's do one thing. First of all, let's close this. Okay. now for example i'm currently working here i will simply copy paste my all the details right okay sorry first was the option to fill my experience detail then we have uh, a company name then from when to when i am working so i will say that i am currently uh, from present right to i will say so what i will do now i will actually uh it is something it will be easy for us to copy paste right then i will say like from january 2024 to present i am working here right 
So you like, like you can fill all the basic details. I'm simply copy pasting details from my resume because I will show you that if you will fill all that those details here, a very similar resume will be created. Just like it's mine, okay? So I can just add all my details here. So for this also, I have added the options to add the job details. There is multiple points you can add, right? You can see point number two, point number three. I can add each point, right? Like this. So I hope that you guys are loving the UI, right? After the project, so I have added only one experience here. If you want, I can add one more. So just show you guys okay, that we can add multiples also. So yes, then for example, like this. Okay, it was in Bangalore. After that. I have to add two more points for example so this is how i will add all my details so i am copy pasting you have to obviously write your own details now once it is done i will simply save it you can add as much experience as you want right next is the project details so i will add one basic project uh, just to explain you guys and the, and similarly you can create more so first of all i will add the project name the text tag i have used with some commas after that i will use the deploy link of the project right so i will probably add something random okay project key there yeah i have added it and the time from where to when i have uh, you know created that project then some details about that project uh, i will add here right so if you will see here i have actually already added some this is how i will i can add my resume and you can use uh, you can add multiple projects also if you want right so this is how you can see i have filled all uh, four sections now my achievement so for achievements also i can add some points for example i can add my uh, max code forces rating then i can add my max code self rating like this then i can say okay i am i have qualified for icpc reason list with this particular rank then i want the linkedin intern hack then so on and then i can save my all the achievements right then for the skills also i have divided into four parts just like i have added so first i will write the technologies and frameworks that i know then i will write the languages then that i know right then i will write that uh, vs code and mongodb finally i will write the data structures and whatever the course okay. so you can divide your uh, skills into these four parts and finally some extracurricular activities i am i have not added it in my resume because already with these details it was a one page long resume so i always recommend to create a one page long resume after adding extra category it will become more than one page so i mostly don't add it but if you want you can add it so i can write here i am a state level rc player which i am actually then i can write okay i am the class representative or the branch representative or my college of my class and so on so i can add uh, as much extra as i want okay now once we have entered all the details they all are filled what you can do the only thing you have to do is you can simply click on the build resume option it will build your resume and it will open on the, the overleaf.com from its own you don't have to do anything it will open overleaf.com it will load your resume tx uh, latex file here and you can see your resume is created without doing any effort you have to just enter your details here one by one all the details and then you can create your resume here. and that's not the only thing that's not exactly but the main thing comes if you have to update if you have to update next time do nothing let's say you have closed this tab if you have to again update it again come back to coding75.com simply go to your resume your profile then you can update your resume and then update whatever you want for example you want to add one more project add that project let's say project name is check okay these are the tag stack and so on okay add that all and then simply save your and then again build a resume now it will again open your updated resume in overleaf.com as a project that's all and then if you want to download it you can simply download it from here and you can see you have your resume downloaded right that's the easy thing how you can use crack uh, coding 75 resume builder 
enhance your resume and this is absolutely ATS friendly resume because it, it is made using latex right cool so guys that is how you can use resume builder also if you guys want resume review one to one mentorship live DSA classes live project classes live CS100 classes a complete uh, placement specific plan you can join and subscribe to coding 75 pro thank you